it's John from Hex Crypto and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a Mysterium node with a Raspberry Pi. So this is the cheapest way I could find to make a Raspberry Pi Mysterium node. I've got all the cheapest bits and pieces I can get. I know that sounds bad but it is just basically a rather simple system that is required so we don't need you know huge amounts of memory or anything we just need the complete basics to get up and running. So the total cost of all of these components is around £52 so the Raspberry Pi 3B here was £36, the see-through case here that we've got was 2 99 the memory card here 32 gigs class 10 was just £3.69 and one of the more expensive pieces was the power supply here which was £9.99. Now it's worth spending a bit extra on a decent power supply. This one here has a on off switch here and it also provides up to 3 amps as you can see. So I've put Amazon affiliate links to all of these components in the description below if you want to pick up the same spec that I've got here. And I've put some time codes in the description if you want to skip to any particular part of this video. But we're going to start off by first flashing the memory card here with the Mysterium node software. So we're going to move over to the PC now. I'm going to be using my USB memory card reader here to actually get this connected to my Windows computer. But obviously you can use any kind of memory card reader you wish. So let's move over to the computer now and we'll see how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to be following the guide on the official Mysterium website here to set this up. So just a quick overview, it basically tells you here what the supported Raspberry Pi models are. So we've got the 3B, the 3B Plus and the 4B. So sadly you can't use anything lower than that. And basically all we need to do is download the RPI image here, mistberry.zip. We also need to download Etcher. So this is the software which will actually flash the zip file to our flash drive. So get that downloaded too. And it's simply a case of then popping the SD card into your computer and then flashing the file onto the micro SD. So I've got my files downloading here and we'll come back to once they're fully completed and we'll go through the flashing process. So once the Etcher software has finished downloading, just click on it to open up and agree to the terms and conditions there. Okay, so with Etcher open, we're going to do a flash from file because we have got the file downloaded. So click on here, find the zip file of mistberry.zip that we downloaded. Here it's on my download drive and then click on open. We're then going to select the target here, so the target is going to be our 32 gig Kingston drive here. We can see two hidden drives here, obviously you don't want to flash your system drive. We want to make sure we are selecting our USB device. Tick the box, select it, and then simply click flash. Click on yes if you're prompted, this is just the process in the background requiring the command prompt. Now it does say to go make yourself a cup of tea whilst this is happening so we'll see how long it takes. It's only saying it's going to take a couple of minutes so that's not too bad really. Okay then so once the flash is complete we are okay to take out our memory card. Ignore anything that pops up in Windows about formatting the drive that's just because we have turned it into a Linux sort of distro so we're just going to eject this once that is safe to remove, we can then proceed with popping it into our Pi and getting it set up. Okay, so back with the Pi now, we have got our fully flashed Mysterium node operating system here. But now we need to actually get our Pi set up. So basically all we actually need to do is pop this in the case. So it's important to remember not to put the memory card in until it's actually in the case because you can damage the port if it is sticking out when you uh, pop it into the case. So put it in after you've put in the bottom section at least. So there we are, we're now in with our memory card. So now we can pop the top of it on. Again, just lining up and clicking down. And there we are, that is our Mysterium node, all nice and secure. So. All we need to do now is plug this in with power and let it boot up. Now I would highly, highly recommend you plug it in with an HDMI cable so that we can get the IP address. I'm going to do that here just to show you. It just makes things a lot easier for people who aren't too au fait with routers and other things. You actually get to see your IP address so that you can get onto the node and get it set up to start earning your rewards. 
Right, so I'm over on the PC now and I'm just gonna power up the Raspberry Pi. So you can see here in this picture, this is how I've actually got it set up. So all I've got is the HDMI, I've got the ethernet cable for the network and we've got the power plug. So we're powering up now and I've got the HDMI going to my PC just so I can record this boot for you. And this is where we will find the host name and the IP address. Now you can actually just type in raspberry pi dot local on port 4449 and you should be able to go straight to your Mysterium node setup UI. But just in case you don't, this is another way of finding your IP address. So you can see just up here the my IP address is and you've got 192.168.1.148. So your IP will obviously be something different to mine. It might be in the same range, but it may not be. You may have a 10.1. something or a 172. something, but either way, find your IP address and once you're happy you know what it is, you can proceed. Okay, so give your missed node a bit of time to start up. Let it sit for about five minutes once you've powered it on, and then we can go and try and get into the web interface. So I'm just doing this on my phone, but I'm recording the screen here. Okay then, so open a new tab in your browser and go to your Raspberry Pi's IP address. And the important thing is to put in the port number, so we need a semicolon 4449, and then just press return. And this is the startup for our node. So if you click start node setup, We now need to get our address for the band to pay out. So this is gonna be your Mysterium wallet address. Now I'm using Bittrex for mine, but yours may be in a different provider, such as Metamask or something else, but whatever your payout address is, you need to stick that in here. So I'm going into my Bittrex app here and I'm just gonna get my wallet address. So this is my Mysterium wallet. So if I go to deposit here, I can now copy my wallet address, copy to the clipboard, and now I can paste it in the payout settings here. Click on next. Now it's going to ask you to update the node web UI password. So just type a new password in. So what you want to do is make sure you claim the node. So you need to get your API key to do that. You can click on the link, which will open up the mymysterium.network. Okay, so to get an API key, if you don't already have an account, you're gonna to need to click on sign up here and then get yourself an account created. I've already got one created, so I'm just gonna log in. And then once you're logged in, just click on profile in the top right here, go to my profile, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see your API key here. So we're going to just copy this and now we can go back to our node and paste it in. Now press save, continue. And there we have it, you've just set up your first node. We can see our first connection coming in here, someone from Germany transferring some data. And this is all you need to do really. So in the main screen here, we can just have a look. So we've got our total earnings, we've got session time, bytes transferred, how many sessions and how many unique clients. You have a graph of your bounty pilot earnings, your sessions and your data in here. As we can see, this ongoing connection is already uh, using up a fair bit of data. We've got our VPN service enabled, so that's good. Leave that turned on. And here you can set whether you want to allow only verified partner traffic or not. Now I'm going to turn this off because I'm not too worried about it. I will cancel that. I'll just wait for this first session to stop, which it has actually just stopped. So let's turn this off and press OK. That just means you'll get more traffic using your node, so you should in theory get more rewards. You can set a limit on the bandwidth if you wish. We can set a slider here to set it to how many megabits per second. So if your speed or your upload speed is actually you know, quite slow, you can set it to, down to five megabits per second. I'm not gonna bother setting a limit. I can just leave it unlimited. So I'm gonna turn that back off. And that's all you need to know really. That is your node set up. So basically after you have earned a minimum of five missed, you will get a payout which should arrive by the 7th of each month. You can see your residential and your global bounty positions here. And that's it, it's really as simple as that. So let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you need any help setting up your node. Like I said, this is the cheapest way I've found to actually get a node set up and running. And this is a good way of making some passive income with your internet traffic, which you wouldn't otherwise be using. So it makes sense to just set one up and well, set many of them up if you wish and uh, you know, 
dot them around the place you know send one to your friend up north or your parents down south or something and just uh, get them up and running and onto the network so this is my own node which i have had set up for a while now at least a month and i earned about nine dollars of miss on my first month so that's not too bad for something that i wouldn't otherwise have been using it's a sort of no-brainer i've just got this set up on a virtual machine on my server and yeah it's quite a nice little system to set up and get you know get into the world of passive income i think so let me know your thoughts down below please do click on the like button and subscribe to my channel as i'll be doing plenty more videos like this in the future if you've got any ideas or any projects that you want me to have a look at i certainly will do i'm open to any other passive income methods be sure to check out my other videos on passive income such as the aware element and again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video